Hi Year 4, um, it's Lesson 5. Well done, you've made it to Friday in your English remote learning. Um, this book here, this is the book I've been talking to you about all week. Uh, fantastically Great Women Who Changed the World. And there's pages in here about Rosa Parks. Um, there's pages in here about Mary Seacole. And today you're going to be learning a little bit more about this lady here, Frida Kahlo. I think you'll know who she is because I think you've done some work about her in your art lessons um, with Miss Richard and Miss Munro in year three. But today you're going to be making a fact file or a really brilliant kind of information poster about her. And I want it to be really colourful and includes lots of drawings and pictures as well. So to help you on the way with that, I've um, uploaded a video into the remote learning for you to watch. And also I'm just going to read for you the pages of this book here because I think it's just a really cool book. So it says Frida Kahlo and don't know if you can see in the corner here it's got a little tagline it says she saw life differently which I think is a really nice way to describe her. It says Mexican artist Frida Kahlo's life wasn't always easy but she turned it, her experiences into unique and wonderful works of art. In 1925 Aged 18, Frida was training to be a doctor when she was in a serious traffic accident. Her injuries meant that she would never be well enough to finish medical school. While recovering in hospital, Frida began painting pictures of herself and her life changed forever. Painting helped Frida to feel better. She decided that she wouldn't waste another moment of life. She would paint it instead. It says down here where in Frida's feelings, Frida laughed a lot, but she always painted herself looking very serious. This was because she wanted to find more unusual ways to show what she was feeling. So instead, she painted curious images as clues. There's an example here. This isn't the real picture. This is a kind of copy, a silly copy really of the picture. Um, but I love it and it says, I was very interested in the ancient people who lived in Mexico, the Aztecs. They thought dogs acted as guides. So I painted dogs when I was thinking about making big decisions. Makes total sense. And there she is. On this page here, here's another picture, a bit like one Frida might have painted. And it says, in this painting, my hair is tied up with ribbons. I wanted to show how it feels to piece things back together after an argument. So it's a representation of something else. Down at the bottom here, I don't know if the light is shining on that a little bit, but it says, fascinating Frida. People were very interested in Frida because she used her art to say exactly what she thought. She didn't want to hide anything about herself, something unusual for a woman at the time. This is why Frida exaggerated her eyebrows and facial hair in her paintings. Frida was very proud of being a Mexican woman and always wore colourful traditional clothing, jewellery and elaborate hairstyles. Frida loved animals and she had lots of pets. Here's another picture. She says, family was very important to me. I painted my pet monkeys very close to me to show this. Frida painted over 200 artworks, which are now famous all over the world. But over her lifetime, her health gradually became worse. Even when she was very ill, Frida still wanted to live life to the full. In her last painting, a still life of some watermelons, she wrote the words, Viva la vida. This means long live life. Frida had a truly unique way of looking at the world. It was this that made her one of the most important artists of all time. Now year four, I hope you enjoy making your fact file about Frida Kahlo. Please email us your work when you finished if you can, we always love to see it. And well done, you finished a whole week of English remote learning. See you soon.